Hello Buzzards, my name is Hotsasty and welcome back to Beltless Factorio, where today we have an exciting project. However, while doing uh, some things, uh, uh, cleaning up the old factories, I noticed that our copper wire production is actually at its limit. And as we have seen for certain factories that are uh, pretty fast in producing the, the items like here for the, uh, the green circuits, there this setup is not really that efficient because only the first few assemblers are actually working because all the later ones do not get materials. Uh, this here is, is especially true because we have uh, two input and the two input items are in different quantities. Um, maybe this would work better with copper wires where we only have uh, to pass along the copper. But today we are not concerning ourselves to fixing the copper wire problem. We will address something long-standing that's uh, bothering me. Handcrafting all the inserters. So what we would usually have at this point would be a logistic based mall uh, for all the things. But as we are not using uh, our belts, we are also not using logistic robots. So what we do instead is we place in a square here and have our logistic center here pretty close to uh, to uh, the center of of the map and we will have something a bit different than what we usually have where we have one square dedicated for one item here we will have one square for multiple items uh, but the items are not picked up by train uh, only intended for uh, for manual pick up so let me clean this up a bit remove some of the cliffs uh, so we can um, think about a station design to bring in the wares that we need. I already put in a station, so let's name that one. Um, mall delivery. And make this one because maybe we need more than um, one for the different items. So let's figure out what we need to uh, build here. Um, we don't need to build the inserters because we have them already, but we want to have the long handed the fast ones, the filter ones, the stack ones, and the stack filter ones. So that means, let's figure out the uh, input items there as well. Um, yeah, that would be nice. Then let's see what else we want to uh, to build here um, uh, 
I'm not sure about the, the power poles here because there we need steel and for these we also need steel so they should be uh, closely uh, together. However, what we want to have here for sure is these ones, um, then those, those, and those. Um, anything else from here? I think not. The other ones I don't think we need in that high quantity so we would need to uh, to build them. Uh, we should not have anything here. Uh, we should not have anything there. So actually I'm thinking one assembler per item because uh, this will run on the side, we will limit the uh, output chest and um, then we will just let it run and uh, hopefully whenever we need items we have produced enough of them. And maybe we don't need the whole space here so uh, from another side we could then have basically the steel heavy stuff <coughs> with uh, the, the power poles and so on, rail stuff um, and uh, was there anything else? Uh, yeah, probably we also want to have um, explosives, barrels, grenades, so we can make uh, cliff explosives. But we will see how we handle that. So let me figure out what we need ingredients wise, put them here in the chests. So we need what items we need to deliver. All the products that I want to create are lined up here and I noticed that for the assembling machine Mark II we need steel so maybe uh, we can even squeeze in uh, the other things. Uh, and here in the chests I have let out the uh, ingredients that we need. So Let's move that over by one, right? And then we also need the green circuits there. Then the blue inserters we are creating, so nothing new. Then down here we have red circuits. Um, we are producing, we are producing uh, nothing new, steel. Good. Nothing new and uh, this we can create with uh, just these two. But now if we would add These three, um, we would need copper as well and iron sticks, iron sticks, let's craft a few. Steel. And here we need and copper. So, and then if we would then even extend further with 
signals. These two. And then the cargo wagons. There we have iron, steel, and blue circuits. Uh, green, green circuits. That's just, that's just iron and green. And I think this is the same, iron and green. Then here we have motor, steel, and uh, green. And steel, iron, and cocks. All right. So I need to get myself a bit of uh, copper and we are missing the engine units there. And then uh, we can see what we need to deliver in total. Uh, so far we are at six items. And if we have two-sided unloading, we can have 12 items so should not be a problem but let me get the uh, missing ingredients and then we will see how we set up the unloading the unloading station is placed in and uh, we also have the layout here for uh, getting all the items out and through and down here I have tried to group the uh, the uh, assemblers producing the different uh, items goods together so that uh, uh, machines that require similar input are basically uh, placed together and I think we will start with uh, with the whole uh, inserter line, uh, which uh, will come out here at the bottom. Maybe I want to switch out uh, the outer two because the inserters we only need uh, for these ones. So if we get that out of the way as soon as possible, uh, we could then reuse, or we do not need to continue that line. So let me try to come up with a setup that works best here, and then we can see how that looks and tackle the next one. The inserter setup is done and uh, incidentally, I did not plan it that way, but it works out nicely that if we cross over a line, we then basically get one input line on this side, which only has items in it that we need here. And then we have another line down here. and. In between we have some filters so that we don't uh, pass further down items that we actually don't need there. And here basically the inserters, the yellow ones, they stop. We only need them uh, uh, here. And we do have a bit of control logic as we have for the uh, other um, factories so that where we have a mixed chest we make sure that the items in that chest uh, or there is always space to insert items from from either side 
and then here um, uh, here we have of course uh, not only two items but three items in here so we have to uh, uh, have a bit of uh, logic that we can control the items that we put here from the top because here we get iron plates and gears and we should only add them if there are not enough in there um it could happen that uh, we uh, end up with uh, one item uh, in balanced uh, but hopefully not uh, that much then here on this side we have a bit of logic for the output here because here of course the line goes on and we don't want to uh, siphon off all the green and red circuits down there. Also set up one train that picks everything up so it's quite a, a lengthy uh, journey. So, uh, I think we just send it on its way uh, while I continue working on this setup here um, and then we can see where we get from there uh, I think uh, we shall continue down here with the uh, with these ones uh, the only thing that we then need at this point is steel from top and I think we can we can manage that so let's have a bit of uh, space in between and have this one going on extend the extend the line of course here we are missing a few inserters uh, but we can then have the auto signals done there. We can have um, the minor. We can have the basic factory. And then we will leave actually a gap for this one and another gap for that one. And then we will have this one from down here so that should then also work and we only have to figure out how to get the uh, items in there but that's just a bit of uh, finicky and figuring out how to do that. I managed to set up this factory line as well as the one for the uh, power supply. So the only thing that is remaining are these three. I think um, we will do them down here. However, I'm running out of fast inserters, um, so uh, instead of handcrafting them, let's see if we uh, can basically get the front end of the small running so we can get uh, the fast inserters that we need to complete the thing. Uh, and that still may take a while, so uh, in the meantime, I try to set up uh, this remaining part here. Um, and then we should see by the end of this episode how everything is working or if we have some mistakes made. We will see. The train is coming around for the first time, so now 
we should see. Oh, okay. Here we have an issue. Um, actually, here we do not need. Oh, let's make this so we have less than 50 in here. Let's move that over. Um, It might take a while because um, apparently this inserter is uh, preferred over this one and uh, we will only see items going down once the items are fully saturated so maybe before um, before moving on Should be like this. Or no, it should be like that. So before closing this episode, let's wait for a few more trains to deliver items so we can fill up the pipeline here and then hopefully see the whole factory here starting to work. At least some parts of our factory are working as we can see here from signals and the two miners that were produced. Um, but I think before we finally will know we need to wait for everything to fill up and the tricky part is where we split off and then have multiple items in chests because up here where we have single items we can basically restrict the chest size to one stack but where we have multiple that's not possible and we just have to hope that we get uh, even amounts in the chests so that uh, we have all the items in there and unfortunately uh, with uh, inserters we cannot move two different items at the same time as we would be able with uh, belts with the right and left side so hopefully this works out but it will take a while and looking at the train, I have seen it waiting a lot at red circuits or even green circuits. So that indicates we might have an issue there. And that's where we will focus uh, at the beginning of next episode because that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider leaving a like. Uh, do not forget to subscribe if you want to see that fix and i will see you soon goodbye